I real life want to backhand somebody with the shack hand. What is up you guys and welcome back to yet another, is this gonna be a weekend vlog? Today is September the 9th, it is exactly 8.35 and it is Thursday. It is Thursday and I'm honestly just waking up. I mean I've been up for a little minute, I've been up for like 20 minutes. Um, scrolling, checking um, Instagram, checking YouTube and looking through emails because I have not replied to emails yet. I don't reply to nothing until I, you know, actually start working working but i just you know breeze through something um i woke up feeling good today i'm feeling very optimistic um i'm feeling i'm feeling ready to work um i'm feeling ready to get out of the house today i'm gonna dedicate this morning to getting the house in order as far as finally putting things up um getting things together and finishing my closet okay in the last vlog you guys saw my closet it's actually it's a in the last vlog you guys saw it was a huge disaster so today i'm just committed to getting that together oh we have to go to the mall because i go home to visit my family tomorrow on friday and my sister's birthday is on saturday yes it is chester the finester's birthday just kidding. My sister's name is Chelsea. Don't call her Chester. She might bite your head off. My twin's birthday is Saturday and I want to get my sister a gift, a nice gift because she deserves it. She was very supportive during this whole move. Um, she's very supportive in everything that I do. So it's just only right that I get her a shebang bang gift. <laughs> I wanna do my hair because this is ridiculous. I wanna glue down a wig because I've been using spray and like gel for like the past two weeks and now I see why I've kind of been off of like that glue, off of that gel and spray train because the way I be living and moving around now, that stuff don't last me a day. And it can, it can last you a day, but the way this, this, this B now, this B you looking at right now, it just don't work for me like that no more. If I'm doing something real light, real petty, okay. But your girl lives by the beach now, it be hot hotter than what it is back when I was at home. I don't know what's been going on. I thought it was supposed to be cooler when you buy some water, but baby, <laughs> it's been hot. Closet, gift shopping. I wanna go and get my nails done because the last, I don't think I took you guys on that vlog. Either way, when I was moving something in here, I wanna say in the last vlog, when I was moving in something with my parents, I broke my nail. Um, you guys saw on my, no, it was an Instagram reel. I took you guys with me on my Instagram reel to get my nails done. And baby, my nails did not even last, I want to say a week and a half, a week. Um, I was just being so rough. I was moving stuff around and they broke. So we're going to try to get our nails done today because I just want my nails done before I go home. That's just me. I'll go and get my nails done today. If not, I'll get my nails done tomorrow and then just leave for, you know, home or after my nail appointment. But I'd really rather leave early in the morning so there's nobody on the road. What have y'all been up to? Oh, by the way, your girl done fell asleep in some makeup, hence why I'm looking like a Nubian goddess waking up. <laughs> Just kidding. Me and Bae did go out and, baby, I was tired. I'm have to do a facial or something today because when I say, I'm just. And then these lashes, girl. Matter of fact, I may need to do my lashes today instead of my nails. So I'm going to try and see if I can squeeze in somewhere. Ooh, that's smart. Let me try and do that instead. I just got notified that um, one of my packages has arrived. And I think I know what it is. I think it's my shoes. And if it's my shoes, shawty. It's going to be lit. I'm hungry. So let's get up and go make some breakfast because my stomach is on zero percent um it's touching my back and i cannot work or function do anything <laughs> on an empty stomach period
Y'all know I ain't made it the cooker be yet, so we got these quick grits. Pour this little water in here. Ain't it supposed to be a half a cup? What it supposed to be? Now, now normally I would cook. Where's my turkey bacon? Normally I would cook my turkey bacon on the skillet. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm not in the mood with nothing to heat up on the skillet. Wait for those minutes to get nothing cooked. I'm about to put this in the microwave too. And me waiting for two to get done on the skillet, that just don't even sound right. So, okay, we're gonna put this in the microwave for two and a half minutes. While that's doing something, let me go ahead and make this tea. I need my tea. It's like a thing now where I gotta have my tea every morning. Be nice. All right, so I'm gonna try a different tea this morning. Should I be different? Should I just do what I always do? What if I don't like it? I got some new tea from Marshalls, and this is the Tivana Mandarin and Mimosas. This sounds like this is gonna be really, really good, but I'm scared. I'm scared. I am a tea drinker, okay? So I know what I like, I know what I want, and I'm just really scared this might not be the vibe. Mandarin Mimosa. I mean, it smells like real mandarin, orange peel, mango, papaya, fruit, flavors, sparkle with lemongrass, and it's breezy, citrus, bright, and blend. Everyone's favorite brunch cocktail is delightful, whether served hot or iced. Oh, girl, this is from the Starbucks company. Can y'all see? You see the mama right here at the bottom? Yeah, that's Starbucks, girl. It says Starbucks Coffee Company for $4.29 at Marshall's. That means it's gotta be good. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. I bet I have to use not now bit of sugar for this. I know one thing, this smells really good. OMG, this smells great. Okay, let me make it make so y'all can see child. This is what the tea bag is looking like. This smells good. Smell a little gungy-ish, but. crunchiness it gives in the microwave. We have not done an eat with me, eat breakfast with me in so long. Oh girl, that water done got so cold. And no, this is not Fiji. Refilled with Usopp water. Put it in the um, freezer, let it get real cold. It's like this big old block of ice in here. And girl, you won't tell the difference when this baby get cold, you feel me? I'm so excited to pack my clothes and go home. This won't be my first time going home since I've been here. I went home Dang, that's good. Maybe two weeks ago? But I literally was there for like less than 24 hours. I got there at like seven. I left at like four. This is gonna be my first time me actually going and staying and seeing everyone. I actually be at church besides watching it through Facebook Live. If y'all don't already, I will leave the link to our church's Facebook where we had the Facebook Lives down below if you guys are interested. This is normally my time in the morning where I just sit, collect my thoughts for the rest of the day, catch up on YouTube videos I could not that I could not watch the day before. I do some video planning. I have my success journal here to plan my day. I have my YouTube video idea books in here just in case I have an idea out the blue. And I have my computer, all of my bells and whistles sitting here so that once I'm done eating and indulging in some YouTube, I just jump straight into work. Um, I normally sit here for at least a good hour and a half, two hours that I get up, do something different. So after I'm done eating my food, doing my work like I'm supposed to, girl, being good and diligent YouTube then we'll jump to that closet because it looks a hot mess. Child, I done threw on some little round. Ooh, the lighting in here is complete garbage. Child, so I done threw on a little 
two-piece sweatpants set from Shein because it is time to jump into this closet. I finished most of my work. I'm gonna finish the rest once I get back and retire for the night because in the middle of me working, I actually made a lash appointment because I just decided I don't want to look like this going home. I need these filled. A little backstory on my lashes. Girl, I have literally one, two, three, three different lash tech set of lashes in my on my eye right now and it's about to drive me insane. Finding a lash tech has been so hard since I've moved. Like, it, it gives me a headache. And I dare not try to find a hairstylist. If I'm having this much trouble with my lashes, I know I'm gonna have, you know, a whirlwind of a time trying to find a hairstylist. So, that's a definite no. I'm giving myself a max of two hours to get everything done. I have shelves to put in the closet. I just never actually sat down and took the time to, to do it. I keep looking around because my window is on like a main street so I can see people riding by and it's like catching my attention. Um, but, and y'all know I also had a shelf back at home for my jewelry and my perfumes. So I'm going to try to fit everything into this closet as well as some shoe racks. So we shall see. So let me quit rambling and let's jump into getting this closet together. So, we're finally done. The closet is finished. I'm very happy. So let's just see how everything looks.
now that we're all organized, it's only fitting that I add more clothes to the closet. <laughs> Thanks to Boohoo, today we have a little mini try-on haul. First, we have this black maxi dress with the side split. Anything black is always pretty much popping for fall. I would not dress this with the heels because it is such a high slit, but sneakers would definitely be a go. I love the fit. Now this next dress is definitely different for me. It's this light tangerine colored twist mini dress. And baby girl, when I say slits is mini, um, I probably won't be able to wear this dress out at all. So what I did do, if you guys saw in the thumbnail, I did tie up sis at the bottom and kind of flipped her under and wore her as a shirt. And that did me just fine. She was just as beautiful, but baby girl, the way this booty set up in the back, this cannot be a dress. <laughs> the next item is a white mini ruched dress. Now, this dress is screaming cover-up, bathing suit cover-up. And you guys know I live in Florida. So even though we are slowly creeping into fall, I can go to the beach or the pool all year round. So this is definitely going to come in handy with this hot weather that I'm in. Now, this button-up shirt has to be my favorite out of the whole entire haul. This color, the print, the fit, the way it's laying on my body is giving me Versace vibes. It's just giving me luxury period vibes. This shirt can be dressed up and dressed down. I would definitely dress this up um, with some nice shorts, preferably red. I just didn't have any and some strappy heels. It's definitely gonna be a bop. The last clothing piece is this black romper. Now, I like this romper. It is a little bit too big for me. I find that Boohoo has a little bit of a give and take um, hit or miss when it comes to their sizing. This wasn't too big, but it is a little bit baggy, more baggy than I would like. Now, this belt is, you know, detachable, so you can add your own belt or go beltless. I prefer the belt because it gives me more of a cinched in waist type of look. This romper, I cannot wear a bra, so I highly recommend you guys wearing some type of boob tape. Um, I probably would or probably wouldn't because either way, you can't really tell I got anything. Ain't a hot child because you know I'm flat chested. <laughs> but um, this is a very cute romper. Um, definitely would be good for a date night. To complete the haul, Boohoo was nice enough to send me some strappy heels. Girl, I feel like strappy heels will never go out of style, whether it's fall, summer, spring, winter. Anything strappy just adds a more elevated look to any outfit. And y'all know I'm always here for outfit elevation, honey. And to me personally, fall is all about personality, detailing, and all of these shoes have excellent detail from the gold rings to the up the thigh strappy strap. And of course, the blingy detail on the toe of the clear strap shoes. I'm in love. And also, we could not end this haul without adding some sneakers, honey. You guys know I've been trying to slowly but surely assimilate sneakers into my wardrobe, into more outfits. And this is definitely my vibe. It's soft. It's cream. It's neutral. And I definitely can see myself getting a lot of wear out of these shoes. So a big thank you to the squad to Boohoo for sending me these lovely pieces. If you guys are interested in anything that I showed you guys today in this haul, please make sure to click the links down below. And yeah, back to the vlog. Over here is just a bunch of stuff that I have to either wash or find hangers for. <laughs> Bless me. Ooh, I had got lazy, so don't mind any of this. I do want to add this in here somewhere. My mom got this for me um, when I reached 100K. I may put this over the um, standing mirror in the bedroom in there. I'm not too sure, but I have this over here in the corner just in case. I was so scared that both of these shelves were not going to fit together on this wall. But it looks perfect. It looks great, right? It fits good. It's not too crowded in here. I still have a lot of walking room to do what i need to do and i love how everything looks like i see my bags they're on display now i do have some like i do have some miscellaneous bags thrown over there in the corner bags that i almost never wear um but i know what they are I, like i know what's all over there so and then i have my bigger bags up here and then of course some smaller like clutches and stuff in this corner everything is color coordinated for the most part um i'm gonna try and get all white hangers soon but baby literally this closet is full but i have two to three clothes hampers that needs to be washed with clothes these clothes over here that are clean need to be washed and also a clothes hamper outside this door full of clothes just need to be just put up they're not even dirty they just need to have a hanger and find a home somewhere in this space but that is the closet that is everything um i will link everything down below as far as like my shelving for my shoes my shelf for my bags as well as the shelf for my um perfumes and everything now both of these shelves are from home when i was living with my parents but i still will link these down below if they are available which i'm sure they are and i just bought these these i got um these i got from target 
So yeah, and they were very easy to put together. I low key, let me see, that looks really cute. I low key would not mind actually filming in here. We may have to try and see how that will look. Because to me, this just looks too cute for me not to film in here. All right, so now that I have showed you guys the closet, everything is finished. I need to, I need to go and get this stuff out of the mailbox because I don't want to sweat while I got my little cute clothes on. So I'm going to go to the mailbox to see what packages we have. Switch my shoes. <sighs> oop, oop, one foot. Oop. Crazy part about it is, I think I forgot the mailbox number. If I'm not mistaken, it should be on this key. Yeah, I think. Right? Ooh. I done forgot it, girl. 30. What, girl? Oh, child, I done forgot it. Is it 4105, 32? Nope. Nope. Daddy. Yes, ma'am. All right, got my little package. Oh, it is hot. Oh, it's hot. God, dog, it is hot. Why is everybody home? Y'all don't go to work? Where y'all work at? Why all these parking spaces full? Why y'all not gone? Let me hush, because I'm home. They probably work from home, too. Y'all probably end up vlogging or making a video right now as we speak. Put me on the vlog, coach. Put me in, coach. Whew. All right, let us see. What's in this hair box? Get it, let's open it together, hold on. <laughs> y'all did rope put my thing on that cricket now. Y'all could did it, y'all could do a little bit better than that, but it's cool though, it ain't about the box. I just know the box ain't finna go nowhere for no display. Freak is that? Uh oh, hold it, it's halfway hanging out. We can't have a halfway hanging out, it gotta be an experience. Okay, girl, hold it, hold it, hold it. Y'all can kinda somewhat see what we going with this. Hold on, let me put the camera down so y'all can see for real, for real. <laughs> Good. Googly moogly. Baby girl. I know you see it. We know you see it. Sis. Sister. Sister. We got the Tom Ford Lockett Hill in silver. Not silver. Silver. <laughs> I have been waiting for these shoes for the longest of times. Oh, and I'm in love with it. I knew I would be though. I, I knew I would be. So the shoes did come in this plastic and of course a regular canvas dust bag. And besides that, it did come with a, you know, branded dust bag, a Tom Ford branded dust bag, which I definitely will be using. All right, y'all, so this is the outfit I picked out to wear for today. If it seems like I'm rushing, I am because it is 148 and I have my appointment at two o'clock. So these pants are from Shein. They're the same pants that I featured in my last vlog, but they were just in the tan khaki. These are in the black. Um, Like I said before, they're like a jogger material, sweatpant material, but they are wide leg. I have my plunge top that I got from Shein. I'm wearing my her faux lux necklaces these may be discontinued at the moment um but i may be able to find another link for these if you guys are interested my dior canvas bracelet that i also got from her faux lux this also may be discontinued i will try to find a link for you guys if i can find it somewhere else and of course my jbw mondrian watch some regular rink -a dink studs and some flats <laughs> regular flats that i got from abercrombie and fitch Do people still shop at abercrombie and fitch Abercrombie and Fitch. I love Abercrombie and Fitch. That's just me. I was that girl in middle school and high school. Huh. A and F me, baby. Now I want to find a fragrance. I want to find one that I have not worn in a while or ever. Um, I'm feeling very black today. I don't know why. I've never worn, if maybe one time, my Ralph Lauren fragrance. This smells good. It just smells too demanding. And it just reminds me so much of black opium. And that's not really like a daytime scent so possible this, now burberry brit is a possible so i'm put her right here in flower bomb by victor and rolf i think flower bomb one so for my fragrance i'm gonna use victor and rolf's flower bomb yeah i need a big bag i'm gonna be taking my camera and my tripod so oh girl i got a whole five hours of change must be in here <laughs> I want the 
receipts and everything, you know. Never know if I may need it or not. I need to just take a day out and just empty out all of my purses because I know I got money somewhere in these bags. We have the bag, we're dressed, we are ready, and let's hit it. So as y'all can see, I'm still bald by the lashes. I made the appointment. Get here for the appointment at two o'clock. Tell me why they said they can't find my appointment in the books. So whoever I booked my appointment with, she must have clocked out before my appointment. So they have no idea where my appointment went in the system, no idea at all. They were so freaking rude. First of all, for no reason, I sat there for at least a good five minutes waiting for the receptionist to finally look up from her phone and talk to me. So she's like, how can I help you? I have an appointment. Where do I go to get my lashes done? And she was like, what are you looking to get done? I'm like, I'm getting a volume set fill, but I already have an appointment. Where do I go? Like, that's not what I'm asking you. Like. Where do I go? So girl, she's like, oh, you have an appointment? I'm like, yes. She's like, what's your name? I said, Courtney. So she looks in the books and I can tell by her face that she's looking a little stupid. My name's not in the books. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Well, if you give me a little time, I can see if our lash tech will come in today. So the manager instantly walks past. And she's like, um, what does she need? She says she has an appointment for two o'clock for a volume set. A volume set fill oh um we don't do those and then walks off so now I'm looking like girl I almost called you out your name girl I had to catch myself so now I'm looking like really girl like the real girl like for real for real till then when the manager walks off the receptionist got a little bit sweeter she's on my face well if I can call the lash tech that does that can do volume sets and I can see if she'll come in today I said, you know what, it, it's cool, don't worry about it. We can see if we can fit you in for Sunday. I said, it's fine, thank you so much, it, it's okay. So now everybody wanna get nice. Everybody wanna apologize, everybody wanna say how they wanna help me and blah, blah, blah. I don't want help. I don't want help, I don't want help, I don't wanna be helped. Since I moved down here, finding a lash tech has been hell, okay? I started off not really wanting to tell where I moved to, but it's like the city is so, it's it's way bigger than my hometown so it's like any creepos out there you can't find me i live on boynton beach so finding a lash tech in boynton beach florida has been hell okay i do not recommend any lash techs any lash salons anything in the boynton area as of right now like if anybody asks me i'm gonna tell you none of them especially none of them that are around where i live they're trash not really as far as like performance just as far as professionalism and business etiquette they don't have any either my appointments get lost or the lash tech allowed me to book the appointment online when i get there they don't offer that service or that lash style or when i get to the appointment the doors are locked or the lash tech isn't there and never shows up and then i still get charged a you know cancellation fee but the shop is locked out like it Girl, when I say I'm beyond pissed, I'm probably just rambling at this point. I may not even include this clip in the vlog, but I gotta get this out because I, I hardly ever, ever get upset. But girl, they they trying y'all girl gangster today, you hear me? When I say they trying me, they are trying me. So I'm trying to keep an optimistic mood, a good mood, I've been in a good mood all day. I want today to be a maintenance day. So I am here pulling in right now to the nail salon that I found that I've grown to love since I've been over here. I'm gonna get my nails done. But as of right now, I really wanna slap somebody. This is me being honest. I, I'm not even going to lie. I real life wanna backhand somebody with the shack hand. Oh, I gotta get my attitude right. I may go in here and I may not. I'm just being honest. We'll see.
today is Friday and today is the day that I go home. It is officially, what time is it? I don't know, y'all might not be able to see. Cause I'm vlogging on my um, on my phone camera right now because the camera is so far from me. I don't know where it's at. It's probably in the kitchen somewhere, but it is 5.40 and I'm up watching Pack With Me videos, trying my hardest to get some energy to pack. I'm bouncing between watching that, listening to music, trying to psych myself out to get up and just leave. <laughs> and then I'm doing some last minute editing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to pack. I have some ideas of what I would like to pack. Um, I didn't get a chance to do my hair over, so I'm gonna pack a wig definitely and probably do my hair once I get there and wake up fully. But right now, this is it. I'm probably probably gonna travel with my hair tied up just like this. See, so yeah, I just want to wake up and let you guys know that I was up at five something in the morning and I probably won't eat till like around 7.30. <laughs> Maybe not. It depends on how long it takes me to edit these little clips that I have. Because I do want to see how this all pans out. I like to do my... I like to edit my vlogs. Um, now, I like to edit my vlogs day by day. So it's not as much when it's time for me to post. I don't have to, you know, cram and edit. I don't really care about that. Anyways, we still got to pack. We still got to get dressed. So I'm going to let y'all pack with me. We're going to get dressed together. If I got something on cute, we'll get dressed together. If not, y'all just see what your girl got on. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I am all packed and I am ready. This is my travel fit, my driving fit. My pants are Shein, just some Shein brown joggers. This is actually a jogger set. It comes with a uh, a cropped tank as well as a cropped, uh, a cropped zip hoodie, but I'm leaving that here because it's just too much clothes for me just getting in the car and driving home. So I'm wearing those pants, um, my meshki cropped, little collared shirt. I think this is really, really cute. I never wear this and I think I spent like 30 bucks on it. So it's gonna get worn. I probably won't buy from them again. <laughs> this shirt is definitely not worth 30 bucks, but it's, it's a good quality. It is, but it's just not worth $30. All right, besides my shirt, I'm wearing the same jewelry pieces from yesterday. My Hermes necklace and my Louis Vuitton charm necklace as well as my JBW Mondrian watch. You guys know I gotta keep it on me. As well as my Cartier inspired love bracelet. And for the bag, I am taking my Chanel flap. This is the lambskin flap. And I think this is the medium if I'm not mistaken. So I got her stuff so she's a little bit there we go. So yeah, this is the bag for the day. She is fully stocked with everything that I'm gonna need. Chapstick, sunglasses, my wallet, and I'm gonna carry her as a shoulder bag today, not a crossbody because, I don't know, for some reason my shoulder's been hurting me, so. All right, let me grab this battery pack too. I low key wanna go by Duncan, but it's like I really wanna just get on the road and just go straight home. I don't wanna stop, nothing. So I don't wanna make me no tea either. I think I'm gonna just grab a water, heat up some bacon in the microwave really quick, and then we are gone. The only thing I have not done yet was pick my fragrance. So, I think to keep it very simple, nothing too extravagant, I think I'm going to wear Dolce Gabbana Garden. This has honestly been kind of like my go-to, as y'all can tell by like how half full the bottle is. That and my Hugo Boss Descent has been like my jam. Dolce Garden is like the perfect blend of a garden and then like coconut. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells extravagant. Now that I'm looking up here, I'm missing my good girl perfume. We 
where is she at? She gotta be in one of these purses. Or in my car. It's probably in my car. All right, now we smell good. Let's go. Mm. 